there everyone this is christine from in the stars by christy.com and in this video we are doing a february 2021 love predictions with pick a card reading so there's going to be three piles and you'll just have to focus on which pile that is seen calling you and that is really the the, the message or insight that is going to be for you basically that is the idea um so um for my readers you know the ones that are already subscribed to my videos and have been always tuning in please do know that i'm still going to be doing a, a personal uh, readings every month per sign so uh, don't get alarmed with this video that i'm doing is suddenly a, a general um love predictions and stuff like that i'm still going to be doing a per sign reading so which i'll be uploading probably at the late uh, the last week of January or at the first week of February so um yeah please do stay tuned with that and for those people who are new to my channel and want to get you know uh, insights and guidance on you know your own sign uh, every month you can do that by you know subscribing to my channel of course and ticking the bell icon whenever I so that you get notified whenever I post videos just like this one so um yeah um, I will be showing you guys uh, an image or a photo that I took um, prior to the reading and so that you guys can you know fully tune in and see what are the pile cards or stones will be resonating with you and um, the timestamps and everything I'll post it all at the description of this video or at the comment section I'll, I'll pin it out so that you can jump in into that reading so um yeah without any further ado let's just dive into the reading okay so for pile number one this is your reading and we have here the eight of swords nine of pentacles five of pentacles and nine of swords all at the same time giving us a clarifier of the healthy choices card and ascending and over here we have the keeper card to give us more information into what we are actually dealing with of the possibilities that might transpire within the month of february for us in terms of your love life this is the concern card wealthy man and the child okay we do have an interesting bunch over here um I kind of feel that this is really more of a situation wherein maybe you have made a decision in the past, you know, or you are desiring something and, you know, you just want something powerful to happen in your life. Um, and this is basically because you feel that things are not working out in your relationship and maybe you are feeling unloved. There is some form of coldness in terms of your relationship and this is especially true if you're actually in a relationship. If you are single, this is a point wherein you know you could be very much frustrated because of um, various situations in your life. Maybe, maybe there is a form of unsatisfying situation that you're going through during this time like you wanted to feel happy you wanted to feel fulfilled in life but at the same time you're not having that you're not receiving that and it's quite frustrating and this is making you want to to start a new venture this is really making you wanting to do something new into your life and you know uh, bring it possibly having some form of adventure to happen into your life as a result you're making various changes hoping that that change can really occur and i kind of feel that you know for some of you you might be at the point of contemplating that i've been doing so much i've been you know being positive being uh practicing scripting my law of attraction and all that but nothing is nothing is happening so there is a chance here that you might be uh, losing hope into things like especially for single people this can manifest in a way wherein you want uh to bring in a love into your life maybe you are desiring to be in a relationship after being single for so long and there is a form of frustration right there of 
I wanted to be with someone. I wanted to be in a relationship, but I'm just not getting a relationship. That form of energy. So there could be like frustration in that, you know, like wanting to have something, wanting to achieve something, and you feel that you have done the hard work, but you're still not receiving anything. So there could be some form of frustrations in that, you know, you might be thinking and contemplating during this time to what is exactly、uh, wrong. So I kind of feel that this will make you.、Um, Do some form of drastic situation in your life, you know, drastic change or do something that you have never done before. If I have to say so myself, there's a possibility that you might do something, you know, crazy or not really in a negative way, but you might just do something that is not the usual of what you'll you what you usually do. So、um, I do sense here that there's going to be a new beginning into your life. You might be entering a major change、um, uh, or growth to come for you. However, before that happens, you have to, you know, you might need to feel the frustration or disappointment first. Before you actually make an action, maybe you are the type of person who usually don't. Don't take necessary actions,、um, just like that. You like you you make little changes here and there, and you expecting result. But during this time, I kind of feel that you will have to create a major, major, big change into your life. You know, like for example, um, and doing, uh, doing something out of the norm, or you know, changing an entire lifestyle or a habit of some kind. You know, doing something drastic and. Making it's like you preparing to be in a relationship, to be, to be, to be with whatever it is that you want to bring into your life. What it is that you want to, 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 to start the project on. I I feel like that. Also, if you are in a relationship, this is a situation wherein there could be some form of confusion in terms of your love life, especially with your partner. Um, this could be a point wherein maybe you have made the decision, or you are at the point of making a decision that something has to change with this partnership. You know,、uh, something is not right, and something needs to drastically change. And I kind of feel that because we have the Nine of Swords in your future or at the very near future, this is a point wherein you are really going to be frustrated with certain things. Uh, maybe frustrated with a specific person in mind, especially since we have here the concern card. The concern card is actually a card wherein you are really brooding over something. There is something that's really、um, confusing you, and it could be with、uh, this man that we have over here. So you might be really brooding over a specific person into your life. It could be someone you know who is. Young, who is you know, uh, young, athletic, you know that kind of energy. That is really what um this is really all about. They do have the、uh, you know it could be a businessman, or something like that. You know, and they might be confusing you, or there's really something frustrating. You know, in that um form of energy, and. It makes me feel that you know it could be for example if you are married it could be something to do with you know some form of divorce or、uh, I don't know something official that is confusing you since we have the child card. However, the child card does not always necessarily mean that a child there is a child involved. It could be it could actually mean something small. It could be like you know you might be stressing over something that's really really small and then it becomes really really big. This can also be a situation wherein you know it might be telling us that you know it、uh, you might be dealing with someone who is immature and that 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 is really causing you some form of、um, some of some form of frustration frustration and you know this is really more about you coping up with the opposition coping up with the changes and and energies that are presenting itself to you so. Not really the most positive card or reading for the pile, 
but this is really mostly telling us that there is something that you need to overcome and it could also be that there is something unhealthy in your love life in your relationship and with how you how you perceive or deal with love and relationship itself and that needs to be corrected you know this is really um the way I do my readings is yes, I do re uh, readings based on the prediction itself of the cards and all of that. But I always believe that there's always a lesson into that. And yes, nothing is set in stone. But um, in my experience, um, if there are negative energies uh, surrounding the reading, sometimes there are lessons into that, and sometimes we can actually um, avoid the pitfalls uh, of the reading. You know it's like having awareness on what is to come so that we can correct them earlier on and maybe change what the future is going to be so like i always say awareness is like everything <laughs> so that's how it really goes so yeah um this is really the time that you know you really you really need to take a look into your relationship itself uh there is something you know maybe the other person doesn't have any time to, to for you you're making you think that am i not beautiful enough am i not um am i not um sexy enough you know you might be questioning so many things into your life and uh i i also feel that you know there is an a part of you that wants to make things official but you are kind of struggling on how to make it all happen so um but you are going to find yourself you know doing something that can actually change your own situation um so yeah this is a reading for you guys so, you know there's some form of change that you really really need to do to achieve something and i kind of feel that you are going to eventually achieve that especially we have the card of ascending like yes you are going to send some form of frustration there is some form of negativity right there some form of things that are not making you happy but you are going going to work on that you are going to do something and that will lead you to some form of union some form of achievement that will raise up your vibration to a higher level especially once everything has already manifested for you so yeah this is a really uh, <laughs> insightful one and i do hope you learn something from it and yeah this is pile number one okay so for pile number two this is your reading if you have chosen this stone this is the labradorite stone okay it is actually the stone of transformation and change and i kind of feel that this is very fitting for a lot of you guys even though that the current situation that you're dealing with right now is quite challenging especially since we have here the nine of swords um as your um current situation the energy that you are vibrating during this time However, we do have the crossover by the six of wands, which means that even though that you might be in a situation of worry, it doesn't really have to mean very negative. You know, you know maybe you are just uh, brooding over something, thinking about something, and it's really making you worry because you don't want to make any mistake of any decision that you might make. We have here uh, the Six of Wands, we have the World card and the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, we have a lot of major arconic cards here. So it's like telling us that there was something major that has occurred in your life, like a big change. Uh, or this could be something that's about to transpire in your life and some form of big change is suddenly going to come to you. We also have here the Axe card and the Cassette and uh that's a clarifier card and we have here the thoughts card courtship and great fortune i have to say this is actually a pretty good reading and um even though that your past may not seem that great <laughs> we have here the axe card with the world card so you there could be some form of instances wherein there could be a breakup separation or someone has hurt you or backstab you you know some form of hurtful event actually transpired in your life and that is probably where the fear is coming in 
even though that maybe you have a new person in your life right now or maybe you are in a relationship and there is no problem at all you might be getting worried you know you might be thinking and doubting the person maybe they're not um they're they don't have gain, any good intention towards me it's like you're you're putting problems into a situation wherein there is no problem at all so um also we have here the wheel of fortune which means that you know things are now changing for the better for you especially in the near future you know there could be something really really good that might transpire with the cassette card though this might be you know having repetitive kind of situation so it could be like history repeats itself or you might be telling yourself something again and again and again uh, whether it is something that has facts in it or maybe something that's untrue just in your head you know this is about you know having repeating things in your head just like a cassette tape i would say so uh there is some form of situation like that like you wanted to move forward but something is binding you uh you know something is putting you down despite the fact that you wanted to move forward ahead with your life over here this is actually um this is the one thing that i like with the keeper deck is because they have the thoughts card and the thoughts card is not about what you think about the situation but it is what um the other person thinks so that is really what this thought card is actually portraying what the other person thinks of you so that is a card it has so with the courtship card this is about um, a meeting of some kind Th this could actually be a date you know i mean you know we are not on february so valentine's is over here so there could be a social event public event and you guys might be seeing each other going out on a date so if you are concerned of whether i'll get a date or not this is like a big signal that you will get a date <laughs> you will be going out there and have someone special in your life so that is that and with this good fortune card it's actually a card that is very positive because it's like it intensifies all of the good cards around so it it intensifies the the card of change and the card of movement into your life and it intensifies the courtship card so you might be um finding a suitor now or you might be having a date of some kind and things could actually uh, work well so this is really not a situation wherein you are in love with the, with the person this is really more of a situ situation wherein you're just starting things out and things are in a progressive kind of manner so if you are going in concern of but i'm not in love with this person i mean you're not supposed to be in love with a person with a courtship card because this is about visiting someone talking to someone um getting in contact with someone that is basically it and with with the good the great fortune card this is like telling us that things are actually going to work out very well for you during this time so there's going to be some form of travel there's some form of of relationship contract that might be happening over there um something is actually like manifesting for you as a whole and it's going to change your life as a whole so if you have been single for quite a long time and maybe you have started dating recently and you are going to find yourself being in a date this can also be a situation where in some form of good news might just come to you and all your doubts and fears are just going to disappear you know so it has that form of energy over here so the days of of heartbreak is over and my only concern here is to not repeat not keep thinking about the things that did not work out well for you because you know you might just trigger a situation wherein you might encounter a problem that you once had in a specific relationship and bringing it bringing that situation to a new relationship which can be quite self-sabotaging one way or another and it's not going to be healthy and it might just lead to some form of breaking up with that person i mean we're not really seeing that but it's just a warning that you need to keep in mind with to not bring up the past to the new relationship or new 
contact that you are going to get in touch with because this is really what we're seeing there's going to be a new relationship a new form of energy that makes you feel happier um, and the risk here is that you might be bringing up past issues whether it's your own issues you know whether it's personal that kind of stuff or not um, you need to be mindful of not bringing up the past into the present and to the future you know try to move past that try to move on from that and everything is going to be working out very very well for you this is actually a very positive reading and it's really more of a message and signal that if you are not happy right now then rejoice because you are going to be very happy very soon so there's going to be a happy surprise and happy meeting in store for you so this is your reading for pile number two Okay, so if you have picked the aquamarine for pile number three, this is the reading for you guys. So we have here the three of swords at the center card crossed over by the knight of pentacles along with the two of wands over here and the knight of wands. So we do have two wands energy. And then over here we have the sunglasses and the cupid's arrow which is all about falling in love so that is really a spark on things and even though you're starting off with the three of swords it's actually giving us a, a good sign to what might be happening for you this month of february 2021 with the keepers cards over here uh to give us more information on what this is about and give us more details into things we have the house card the youth child and the occupation card so um this could be a situation wherein maybe there has been something upsetting that has occurred for you into your life maybe you had a breakup or um you have not fully healed um with your past relationship or there is really some form of upset that is happening to you in a very emotional level and but it is actually crossing over by the knight of pentacles which actually gives me a feeling that you know you have been hurt before but you are getting better and you're starting to move forward again you're starting to open yourself again to love maybe or starting to open yourself and seeing someone or meeting someone new being more open to the possibilities of life which is actually pretty much of a good thing um we are seeing here that in the past you know you might have been you know really much of a stalker or you know you're hoping for something you know keeping a watch on certain things into your life on maybe you have been waiting you know waiting for an ex to come into your life maybe um i'm not saying that that's going to be for everyone but there is a possibility that yeah you might be still hoping for someone to come by into your life but this time around i kind of feel that you're not really more into the past you're actually pretty much looking forward into the future right now and we are seeing here with the knight of wands that if someone actually might just enter your life this time around and can sweep you off your feet you know you might just fall in love with that person maybe they look really really good or you know there could be something exciting that's going to be happening for you i also kind of feel that you might be hearing from someone which can shock you at the at first glance like you might be bewildered of i just received a contact from this person and it might upset you or it might be something that you did not like or something like that uh or uh it's just going to come off as a confusion or surprise um but um that person probably has an has has uh, a love energy that is going to be showered to you i would say this can also be a message from your ex you know that's just a possibility i'm not saying that it is what's gonna be happening but there is a possibility that you might actually just hear from them during this time and it might actually lead to something you know it could be some form of romantic venture it might might start out between the two of you we are not seeing that where that relationship is going to be but there's going to be a spark of that there's going to be a spark that really gives you a thrill of 
adventure and love all at the same time all over again so um yeah we're seeing that happening for you very much uh this could be a new uh, you know it could be entirely a new relationship or in now you are really more open to things and you might just meet someone um very special very um someone that you can actually be in a uh in a serious relationship um one way or another so there is just j- that possibility you are now moving on from from this three of swords into uh to into a different vibe and to a different energy i would say and at first it might be something that you don't like or you you're not very open to it but eventually it can actually um give you some form of happiness and you will get to love it you know whatever venture that you begin right now whether it is a relationship or a contract it might seem shocking to you because it it is not something that you are going to be initiating it is something that um enters your life that will suddenly um shake up your world but it is something that you will eventually love so you will eventually love what you do and it could be something you know in relation to work it could be an office romance or um it could be with your boss i mean i don't know <laughs> but um there is a situation here where in a small spark of love can actually manifest and happen and this can be this can give a new energy into your love life that allows you to be more inspired be more focused one way or another so it's actually a wonderful thing so and whoever this person is is act- they actually going to help you heal completely all of the heartache that you have experienced and have felt during this time so i can see you pretty much you know um having a, a sudden change in your life or in you're coming from a person who is very much hiding you know isolating yourself trying not to be seen by people and suddenly being out in the world being on the spotlight and things and people are always noticing you and seeing you you know in attracting people here and there so there is those kinds of energy so i kind of feel that this is going to be very healing time for you and you might just you know it, there is a form of fulfillment in terms of your love life and with your career all at the same time um and it gives you a lot of inspiration into things which is really really positive if i have to say so myself so this can also be a time where in you know you might uh receive a visitor uh suddenly v- visit you at home you know that kind of energy some form of foundations of relationships are being highlighted here so there is going to be some form of change i do know for a fact that a certain person is going to enter your life a certain person is going to message and contact you um the only thing that i i should be warning you about is that you know don't try to be so easy to get like just because they contact you doesn't mean that it's all going to lead up into a full blown relationship i mean you have to take your time enjoy this process enjoy the moment and don't just bite on every single thing that they do you know or say you know that kind of energy slowly work on it and see where the relationship potential is going to go don't go here too fast because remember this is still the nine the night of wands so the night of wands is like someone has entered your your life very fast and leaves just as fast so you need to be careful of that um however there is a potential that this person might just be you know someone that can stay with you um if you work through it very slowly and work on the relationship at its foundations and at its core so yeah that is the reading for pile number 3 it's actually very exciting and it's going to be really nice because i can't feel that for pile number 3 there has been nothing happening to you and you you can expect something some form of love ventures to begin and start in your life this month 